I got popcorn. All right, everybody. You guys had a good break? Can I have some? Yeah, help yourself. We're watching The Legends of Let Me Solo Her, which is apparently a super crazy player that got acknowledged by FromSoft. Let me go ahead and uh, get this going. I would love to see what's going on here and get my mind blown to see how he beats Melania so freaking fast. Let's do this. Elden Ring is the latest entry in From Software's library of unbelievably difficult games that went from once cult classics in Dark we gotta and do Demon Demon's Souls, Souls chat. to now becoming we gotta such play a that. powerhouse I'll of play a collection that. that as of March 19th of 2022, Elden Ring has sold over 12 million copies worldwide. There are hundreds of hours of content to play, and so much variety in terms of builds and progression that this game is timeless, just like the past From Software games in similarity to God, it. I love Sif. But I don't think anyone outside Remember of Sif? your small percentage of God, Souls I love that Legends freaking dog. were prepared for one boss in particular. You may know that this Melania. company has a history oh, of game Oh, oh, listen chat, I want to play Bloodborne again too. I haven't played Bloodborne in so long, and I haven't done the DLC. I only did the base game. I would love that. Philosophy of pitting the player up against tremendous odds in the hope of giving players I the remember sense this of chick. accomplishment by overcoming those odds. Names that you may be familiar with like Ornstein and Smo, the Fume Knight, the Nameless King, the Orphan of Kos, and Sword Saint Ishin all shared this philosophy. Huh. But Elden Ring, Elden Ring is a different animal that has different rules. You see, there is one boss in particular, I would argue from software pushed to be harder than every other boss we have listed. Hell, harder than any boss Melania. from software has ever made. That's With so sick. With so little room for error, players quickly felt something had to be wrong. This boss's name is Melania. Blade of Mikola. And not only was she in all of the promotional material for the game That's to so establish cool. Dude, her Dude, I have to see the trailer! She also lets you know her name every time she kills you to cement that you'll never forget Look at all these very people. same torturous name. I am Melania. Blade of Mikola. This boss has been criticized huh? by many for being too hard. Some say she's fair. Did they while nerf her? Say from may have jumped the gun. Well, in the face of all danger and all doubt, one legend arose. One tarnish no, thank was God. summoned to be the community's archangel. This is the story of how one player took the narrative of the hardest boss from software has ever made and flipped it on its head. This is the story of life there. when the narrative was full of rot. Huh. This is the story of Let Me Solo Her. They shouldn't have nerfed Radon. They shouldn't have. They should have let him rock. They should have let him cook, dude. Wow, what? What is this art, dude? This is sick. Let me solo her story couldn't have been made so big without a boss that fit the bill for that to happen. Obvious spoiler warnings for those who haven't finished their first playthrough. After hours of everyone's first playthrough of Elden Ring, there is an optional boss met all the way up north of the map. Players must first find both halves of the secret medallion, which can be used to unlock a hidden path through the Grand Lift. If the player finishes a puzzle in a town and lights all the stations, they can take a portal on the north side stairs. They are then transported to the Halig Tree and have uh -huh. to fight in the toughest area of the game. Platforming, difficult no, enemies, this, and this, a true this, soul's this area was really bad. of getting killed around corners and through walls. After beating Loretta I didn't have that much of an issue, but through the castle, through this was after I, I and the Earth did everything, mini right? Bosses, the so player I was fully leveled up. The roots of the city. To the left is a large... What lift? What medallion? Dude, I didn't know what the hell you guys were talking about. It's like, a lift? <laughs> a medallion? What do you mean? What lift? <laughs> orange fire, orange flower. And down the stairs... Is the hardest boss 
I have ever faced in a video game. Now, I have beaten every boss in every FromSoft game. I have beaten Day 1 raids in Destiny 2. I have killed Sigrun, Queen of the Valkyries in God of War on the hardest difficulty. Oh, wow. But this boss, this boss was just absurd. Very little room for error. Almost no Dude, I can see, because I used Rivers, right? Rivers of Blood. And that weapon is ridiculous, right? So... I can't imagine trying to do all that shit with, uh, without those weapons, right? Like a great sword or anything like that. That's why I kind of want to do another build and see like how it will, you know, how it will pair up. No time to heal and a boss that heals herself every time you are hit. Now, these attacks could already be seen as ridiculous, but fair. There is only one that most players agree is way too much. What is called the Waterfowl Dance Attack sends a burst of her katana in three different Also, outputs. I use the Black Knife, Melania so... Melania leaps in the air, I use two weapons. then slices and dices twice, then jumps on the other side of the player to slice and dice again. Now, this has iframes, but only just enough that the player would need the perfect timing to dodge these with the correct What the hell? Are you input. serious? This attack, if hit by most of it, will kill the player if you do what survive the, the perfect timing of iframes you may wonder how you pulled it off and if you opt to run away with the perfect timing you'll probably be hit oh my god what is that sword that sword is huge that's a sephiroth sword how do you get that sephiroth sword naka naga kiba is from a quest you'll at least be able to heal and the boss will heal a lot off of this. So now you've been punished for doing what you thought was okay. I want to ask you who's mm. watching, whether you have fought this boss or not. Do you believe that this attack is fair? Is this something that is too much? Or is this acceptable? Whether fair or not, I think it only adds to Melania's notoriety around the community and family. What the hell? Oh, and the she has a that? face too with even more aggression. Oh. Yeah, not fun. <laughs> well. Oof. Joseph Anderson, a very well-renowned critic, made his first video in years discussing Elden Ring and From Software's boss design, especially in the late game. Mm -hmm. Anderson used an example of how many attacks Mo, could be oh combined God. in a row with no predictable rhythm and how it only served to hurt the game since pulling off a three combo attack may result in more RNG than it does actual flow state of a fight. Remember when I this soloed Radon? Let me solo him? That was me. Community, and <laughs> fans and longtime fans alike have had the back and forth as a result. I think time will be the best judgment, and as we learn how these bosses work in the future, community perception will probably you change wish? on bosses <laughs> for better or worse. A lot of people <laughs> opted to use the now infamous Rivers of Blood build, Yeah, that's what I did. Since it's a fast combo with a ton of damage and stagger potential. And it brings up another debate. Should bosses in From Software games force a player to rethink their builds? Whoa! Wait a minute! Yo, that's sick. Did you see that? It's like multi, multi bow. Multi. Do you see that? What was that? That's sick. Rivers of blood build. Since it's a fast combo with a ton of damage and stagger potential. And it brings up another debate. Should bosses in From Software games force a player to rethink their builds? That's so Should cool. every weapon be acceptable to use? Well, seeing Zero Lenny pull off a torch kill on the boss makes it seem doable with any build but lenny is a legend who's been doing these types of challenges forever so should it take <laughs> that kind of player to pull off a kill with any weapon well one type of Incoming. player did pull it off under their own terms a faceless player sporting a pot on his head and wielding double katanas a player so dedicated to being the, the hero he rivers of blood too all seemed just so rotted a player named Let Me Solo Her. Let Me Solo Her. What a perfectly fitting no? name wow. for someone who's ready hey, to take on he is using it. hardest boss. What the on fuck the surface, you mean? Let Me Solo Her is just some dumb internet meme. And 
You're right. But there's so many layers to this one. Let's get started with the story. On April 12th of 2022, Reddit user Sazed813 makes a post titled, Here's to an absolute legend, let me solo her. Hmm. Sazed would go on to describe the struggles of Melania and how when all hope was lost, he looked to his summon sign on the ground. A way for players to enjoy co-op and get help with the bosses that they typically can fight together. No the name, way. Let me solo her popped up on the <laughs> ground. And in that moment, Saze knew to back away and let our hero take the fight. It was no a man way. wearing nothing but a jar on his head and holding two katanas named Let Me Solo Her. I considered against it, but I was curious and who am I to deny him his wish? He was flawless and put all my attempts to shame. I definitely didn't kill Melina, but either way, she's dead. After this post started to blow up on Reddit, what? Let Me Solo Her himself chimed in to show the world who the unsung hero truly was. In a post titled, Let Me Solo Her, our pot-headed hero spoke about the situation, saying that, quote, If you've been playing Elden Ring and have tried to fight Melania on PC, you might have crossed paths with a summon called Let Me Solo Her. I've been helping countless Tarnished in their quest to defeat Melania by going no butt naked, way. except for a jar on my head. Please enjoy this video of me soloing Melania as a third That's summon. That's amazing. My sign will be down for Desperate Tarnish. As always. Let me see this fight, hold on. What this the now fuck? Are you kidding me, dude? Let me solo her, not taking a single hit the whole fight, teasing the boss not spamming very overpowered weapon arts, and instead opting to toy with the boss, has now garnered the attention of well over one wow. million eyes. And the world watched as our modern day hero in games shook the playing field. This story went everywhere on the internet, no way. and there's no short reason for that. Let me solo her didn't just kill Melania, he toyed with the hardest boss in the game, all the while being mostly naked. That Making is so your character sick. naked in From Software games is usually a sign that you're so experienced with the game and have mastered every aspect of it so much that you don't even have to worry about being hit. And in the words of our legend, wow. Let Me Solo Her, in an IGN article, he says that, quote, why wear armor if you don't plan on getting hit at all? Oh my god, Let what a me chad. Let solo her would quickly take what over the chad. internet as a newly established icon. A player so against the grain of the narrative that has been wow. set for souls-like players. And against a debatably broken boss too. Fan art would quickly take over the internet. 3D models of him too. Wow. Videos all over the internet would pop up of people summoning in Let Me Solo Her himself. The pot on his head may have marked the love for the NPC Alexander, or if you have not seen it, the new global Twitch emote rightfully named Pot Friend. But wow. the meaning of not showing his face adds even more weight. We have timeless heroes in stories that never reveal their face, and let me solo her not revealing his and opting to keep the pot on only adds to the legacy. Now, Let Me Solo Her's journey wasn't all perfect, as he would go on to explain in the IGN article that it originally took him over 242 wow. attempts to slay this boss. Hmm. Now, a lot of us would opt to quit in that moment right there, or opt to just cheese oh my her God, with are some you kidding very me? overpowered builds. Yo, but what? he stayed persistent, learned every single move, and overcame the boss the way we can all. The hell? Why is he move? How did he move so fast? Every single move and overcame the boss Damn, the way dude. we can the all. Damn, skills. Hope. And now, let me solo her has lost count of how many players he has helped defeat Melania, with the estimates in the three to four hundreds. Another thing to note about He's being no summoned armor? to help another oh, player okay. is that the boss will also scale in health to fit the amount of players in the lobby. So in the legendary video, 
Let me solo. Oh, her with so Spike. she has more health than normal? Shit. Getting a harder version of Melania with desync and lag to match. An unforgiving hitbox. A naked character, so one hit could mean he was dead. And opting to not use very strong weapon art. It feels like Let Me Solo Her is truly a sensei of Elden Ring. Quickly, there was copycats of our hero, and everyone in the community Let wanted me to be him. Let me her, really? Helping out in fights and being an overall friend in the community. There was even an article saying that Let Me Solo Her bailed on someone for trying to help him in the fight. But it was quickly proven to not be true, as our hero said he would never bail on anyone. One day, he hopes to move on to a second game but has appreciated the admiration from Souls fans wow. as the community gets criticized for being gatekeepy and rude. But it's stories like That's these so awesome. that prove what you hear Let is me not marry her. true. <laughs> I think there are always dark sides to every community in any walk of life, but players like Let Me Solo Her just opt to prove that the world is a good place. We just need to summon that side of it. As for Let Me Solo Her's channel, Klein Suboy, he has only posted one video since then, but I plan on watching the legend develop even further. This is not just a feel-good story for Elden Ring, this is a good story for the world. In a time where games can feel so toxic and gatekept, Klein was able to show us what it truly means to be a gamer, to pick someone up when they're struggling. So here's to the legend of Let Me Solo Her That's so one cool. more time our modern day Leroy Jenkins, a hero with a pot on his head. That's so cool. I want to so thank cool. you all for watching. And if you did enjoy this video. A wow, that was awesome. Not only was his pre-nerf millennia, he would do it as the third summon, making it even harder. This man influenced so many things in the community. Dude, it's freaking cool, man. I just think the story is nice. I didn't know that. Like he himself has fought millennia over a thousand times and that's it i didn't know it was literally he would go to other people's playthroughs and do it for them because he knows how crazy shitty it is and he would help people that couldn't fight her that is so sick official recognition from bandai Na let me see this thank you bandai namco so this guy has let me solo her get sending me this gift so they send him this wow dude you imagine this shit is literally priceless Wait a minute. Can you find this sword elsewhere? Can you find this sword anywhere? Is this, is this shit literally one of a kind? Probably, maybe, I don't know. eBay? Dude, this is straight from Bandai Namco though, right? No? If it's not the only one, it's very rare. Not one of a kind, but very limited. I'll take that. Oh, that, that sounds pretty good. Went on to enjoy the game because the community is one of the most passionate, most dedicated people I've ever seen in the game. And I'm proud to be part of it. Many people uh, shaped me for who I am today, including Vadi, Fighter, P Iron Pineapple, Cheese the Bro, Zuli, Limit Breakers, Bonfire, VN, and all that stuff. Uh, they have be inspired me to be who I am today. Continue to be awesome. Thank you, everyone. Let me solo her. Dude, this shit is so sick. Bro, like, look at this. Map and that sword. Rise, tarnished. That's sick, man. Wow. There was a bug for Melania and an old update. If you were to summon and if she were to try to hit you, she still heal you. She would still heal, to try, uh, even if you were to dodge, and he would still win. It was a thousand times that back in May, he was standing at the entrance awaiting players in need to summon him for four to eight hours at a time. Fully downloaded her sound. That is so cool, dude. See, like, shit like that doesn't happen. But when it does, it's really cool to see.